There are a number of really good updates to Camtasia 2024, including the dynamic subtitles that you can see on the screen at the moment. But perhaps one of the features that I most like is the library assets. There are actually many, many assets that are provided by Camtasia that we can add to our videos. So these assets can make our videos much more interesting, much more professional and much more engaging. And in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of examples where I combine lots of different library assets to make interesting introductions to my video, rather like the one you're seeing on the screen now. Now, I really hope you like this video. And if you do, please like it, please share it please comment on it and of course join me on my YouTube channel. One last thing, many people ask me how I make my videos. I use Camtasia. If you want to try it out, there's a link to test it for free in the description. You can also buy it with a discount. I've provided a link there and there's also a free six part course that will take you through everything in how Camtasia works and I'll also put that in the description. So the first example I'm going to show you is I'm going to try to do a really interesting intro to your video and the library assets are brilliant for this. So all you need to do is click up on media and then when you come to media where you want to click in this particular case is on this section here, this third one. So you've got kind of three areas of media but the one that you're looking for is this, the library and click on the Camtasia library. Now within the Camtasia library you'll see that there are absolute loads of different things. I want you to come down here to dynamic backgrounds and you can open dynamic backgrounds and this can be a really fun way of starting your video uh, and I'm going to build this up and you'll see how simple and quick we can do this now we've got lots of dynamic backgrounds but I'm going to choose this one here because it's nice visually and I'm going to drag that onto the screen one of the lovely things about these dynamic backgrounds is that you can pull them out and make them longer or shorter now let's just quickly play this background that's what it's going to look like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some voice over the top of that. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add some voice commentary and I'll just do this really quickly. So coming down here, I'm just going to click on voice narration and I'll make sure that I'm using a good microphone. So I'm going to click here and use my Blue Yeti and I'm just going to record a few seconds. So I'm just going to click on this button here. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this week's video on how we can make great intro videos for our videos. Okay, I save that. That's now added. So if I was to play this back now, you'll see that we've now got, and it obviously needs a bit more than this, but we've now got, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to. Now, obviously what we need now is to put some kind of visuals on the top. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of little tricks that you might find interesting. I'm gonna click back on the media, and I'm gonna come again to my lovely Camtasia 24 assets, and I'm gonna come up to this one, and I'm gonna use the audio visualizer. Now you may have noticed that I actually did this in my uh, video today. So let me just show you this. I'm going to use this audio wave and I'm going to drag this onto the track above. I'll make it down so that it's just the same length as the audio. There's no need for it to go any further than where my voice is. Now look at the difference in this video already. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this week's video on how we can make great intro videos for our videos. Now, of course, what we're probably also gonna want is to make sure that there's some text coming onto the screen as well. Probably, you've got two options here. You could do what I did, which was to add the dynamic subtitles at the beginning of the video, or another way, instead of just doing dynamic subtitles, is just to add a few key words. And again, the library assets can be a brilliant place for this. Now, if you do wanna learn how to use dynamic subtitles, which is what I did at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna put a video on the screen now that you can click on and learn how to use dynamic subtitles. I'm gonna do something slightly different in this video. So for this one, we're gonna do is scroll down here, and these are something I make a lot of use of. And you'll notice that we've got here what are called titles, okay? So these are gonna go really well at the beginning of a video, and this is something I quite often use. 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some titles. I'll start right from the start. So I'm just going to make the screen a little bit smaller so we've got the room. And I'll drag this title on. Now, let me just show you this one, the big type. Let me just show you how it looks. If I click on that. What you see is this. Okay. Now, the interesting thing about these big titles is that they've got transparent backgrounds. So if I now drag this onto the screen and place it, say, at the beginning here, okay, I'm just going to play this to you. We can obviously update the text that's written here very, very easily and resize it as well. But let me just show you how this is now gonna look. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this week's video on how we... Now, I think that's starting to look really nice. Obviously, what I would do is make sure that I'm clicking on this object, on the text. I would come over here and, of course, update the text. Now, you've got various ways of doing that, okay? So you can, for example, just click here and change the color so let's just imagine for example i just want to change the color change the size okay change even the font that's being used so if i click here i could choose a different font if i wanted to as well okay really really nice and i like this combination of using a audio wave with some text now in my introduction today i use the dynamic subtitles but often you see me doing this and i think it's really powerful so what we've done there is actually use three type of library assets to generate a really nice opening let's just click again and watch a little bit of it good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this week now to actually finish this off i would do one final thing and what i'm going to do to do that final thing is just going to make that dynamic back, back, back to background equal to the rest is so i'm just going to grab all of that and i'm going to group it together this just saves me space and i'm going to move that onto track two now what i would do is i would add some audio now again the library provides this for us so we click here and we're going to come to the library we're in the library and this time what we want come up to the top is audio and we've got various here song or base basically sort of background tracks etc that we can use now the one that i'm going to use is this last one here and you can actually click and listen to the audio file so let me just show you what it's going to sound like i really like that one so i'm going to drag that onto the screen and then i'm going to place it underneath so now we got really starting to build up into an interesting introduction that's really, I've, I've just basically used all the assets that are provided by Camtasia. Watch this. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Now, one obvious thing straight away is that the music's too loud against the voice. Well, that's easy to deal with. Just grab the audio file, and we're just gonna pull it down here, and we're gonna make it about six, 7%, anything like that, that'll do. Always a bit tricky to do that. If that's a bit tricky, just click here and maximize the track. And then it's much easier to kind of control where you want it. But 7% should be a lot better. Let's play that. You can right click and minimize the track again. Let's just play that again and see. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this week's video on how we can... Now, I think that's starting to look really professional. I'm going to show you one final trick. Let's imagine that this is our intro before we start the main part of the video. Just shorten that audio file so that it's the same length as the rest. And then a lovely little trick is if you click here and go to audio effects, and then you can just drop this one onto the audio file. Okay, let's make it a bit bigger. We can do this. We can just grab the audio and just fade out so that it fades out at the end. Suddenly, with very little effort, using the assets from Camtasia, I've made myself a great intro. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this week's video on how we can make great intro videos for our videos. Okay. Obviously, the narration could have been more interesting, etc. But I'm sure you got the idea. And obviously, my introduction to the video that I've made for you today was used using very, very similar techniques. Just a super quick break from the video. Firstly, if you like the video, please then like it, please share it, please comment on it. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. But the other thing is, if you come over to teachertrainingvideos.com, you'll see that my whole website is generated using Camtasia videos. And I do actually have a special section 
of Camtasia videos, just click on screen capture and click on the Camtasia section. Now I am a recommended TechSmith Camtasia trainer. You'll even see that I run some of the webinars for them. And here you'll find loads more videos. Now don't worry if the video says Camtasia 2023 or Camtasia 2022, it will still be totally relevant to Camtasia 2024. Camtasia 24 just has a few more additional features. The other thing is, if you do want me to do some training with you as an individual or with your organization, you can contact me from the website. Right, let's get back to the video. Now I'm going to highlight another example. In this case, what you can see, and this is incredible because I'm actually using the webcam that's in my computer. So it's really, really basic, but look at the quality. And if I play this video, we've got a dynamic background, which is obviously one of the library assets. Plus we can see me talking on the screen and that was recorded using the webcam on my computer. And then the other thing that I've done is add some background music, which I've already showed you how to do and also um, uh, we've added uh, a little bit of title. So Camtasia 2024 has been released. Uh, there are lots of updates, but I think if you're into making educational and training videos, which is what I do, then what and the other thing that I did there, just for a bit of fun, just to show you, is that you can, even with the dynamic backgrounds, uh, just simply change the color and then suddenly you've got a different color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through this process. Again, you'll see me use this technique a lot. In other words, you have me on the webcam, but I also have an interesting background just to generate a little bit more interest and make the video a little bit more engaging. Let's have a look at how I do this. So just like everything in Camtasia, there's really more than one way to do this, but I'm gonna show you one way. I'm just gonna open up the recorder. And when we've got the recorder open, you can see me on the screen there. You can notice I've got a, back, a black background and I would probably situate my webcam just to sort of get it near enough right it doesn't have to be perfect because afterwards i can cut the sides out and all i'm going to do and i won't even use camtasia web for this i'm going to turn off actually the screen capture and i'm just going to record a few seconds of me talking on the webcam so to do that all i do is click on this button here and we'll just record five seconds Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Russell Stannard and today we're looking at using the library assets in Camtasia 2024. Done the recording. I need to save that recording. And in this case, actually, it's come straight in. Now, first thing you're going to say to me, well, Russell, I need to, you know, how did you make that circle? Well, that was quite easy. I'm just going to move that onto an, a, another layer because I know that I'm going to be adding a background here afterwards. And the next thing I'm going to do is actually click over here. I'm going to just crop this down a little bit because I just want it to have the nice black ground of the curtain in the back. In fact, that's fine. That will do absolutely fine. Now, the other thing I'll do, just clicking back here so we come back into normal mode, is then I need to add this effect. And if I come down to more and I come down to, actually it's here, visual effects. That's the one I'm looking for. So I come down to visual effects. And in visual effects, the one that I'm looking for, if I scroll down here, we should find that one of them is mask. And I'm gonna drop the mask onto the webcam. So it's going to drag that and drop it on there and suddenly we're away. Now we can play around with this and just get it the way that we actually want it. So for example, we can sort of like pull that out a little bit and make that a little bit better. So let's say then, for example, now that we've got our webcam uh, on the screen and we've got me talking, but of course we haven't got that dynamic background. We need to add that in. So this is where the library assets are coming in. So click on media. Of course, we know it's over to this side here onto the Camtasia 24. And again, I'm coming down to the dynamic backgrounds. Now the one that I chose was this one here. I'm just gonna drag that onto the uh, one before. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick here. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of make that a little bit shorter. And if I can just copy this or just drag it on multiple times. So it's gonna drag another copy on. I'll just show you another little thing that you can do. Just choosing that second one, just choosing that second one now. I'm just gonna click over here on the properties. So obviously I'm clicked on the dynamic background. I'm just gonna change it to another color. So for example, I could 
just switch like that and suddenly now I've got two different dy dynamic backgrounds now obviously you know how to add the audio what I would do is select those two and sorry select all make sure you select all of it group it together and then again move that up one channel and of course we're going to add our audio underneath but let's just quickly play this and just see how it's looking hi welcome to my channel my name is Russell Stannard and to so that's looking really good there was one final thing I did do and that was add some titles underneath let me show you how I did that now I didn't use the library assets for this time I went to annotations and I actually just chose this simple one here I placed it onto the screen I dragged it right across okay and I'm just going to write in something so I'm going to say welcome to my channel and one thing you can do and you've actually got lots of library assets that you can work with but you know select it and of course you can make the text bigger and if you want for example you might want to uh, make it bold or whatever or change the color so you've always got those options as well and the other thing that I did was I went down to the behaviors and I just brought in and I used reveal I'm just going to drag that onto the screen now remember to position it exactly where you want it on the screen so I'm going to bring it back a bit to the beginning of the video let's just watch that now so if place it just there if we now play the video we're going to have audio webcam dynamic background and of course the subtitles or not subtitles but in this case just some titles coming across the bottom of the screen hi welcome to my channel my name is Russell Stannard and today we're looking at using the library assets in okay now what I could do now is copy that okay so simply copy it paste it in again and add another title so this way the title will be exactly the right size and in exactly the right position so I will click on here and just say something else yeah today we focus on Camtasia okay so you get the idea why the library assets are so useful really hope that was a useful video for you I really hope you liked that video and if you did please like it please share it please comment on it and of course join me on my youtube channel but also if you want more videos on camtasia come over to teachertrainingvideos.com the whole of the site and all the videos have been created using camtasia i've been working with camtasia since 2006 and if you click over here on screen capture you'll see there's absolutely masses of videos on using Camtasia and I'll be adding lots and lots of new videos over the next couple of weeks working with Camtasia 2024. Finally if you'd like some training in Camtasia either individually or as a group I am a recommended Camtasia trainer you will find me recommended on their website you can contact me from teachertrainingvideos.com and just click here and you can send me an email and explain to me what you're looking for thank you very much i'm going to leave a few more videos now on the screen about other features in camtasia